Yeah, good morning, traders. I mean, if I look across assets uh, this morning, you know, there, there's been a bit of conflict. There hasn't been a, just this unadulterated wave of risk uh, sentiment, positive risk sentiment coming through markets. It feels like it's a kind of rerun of what we saw last Wednesday and Thursday. Markets down hard Wednesday, snap back on, on Friday and uh, on Thursday. And that's kind of what we saw from Friday to, to Monday's price action. Uh, you know, we could have been down pretty hard in the US trade. That hasn't been the case, obviously. But, uh, you know, you look at New Jersey in terms of their plans to put indoor dining uh, and the expansion there on ice. Uh, you've seen New, New York City saying a similar situation. Florida case count over 5,000. Uh, Houston ICU capacity rates running around sort of 95%. And then the WHO coming out and saying uh, the worst is yet to come. So you could have said on any of given, given day that the market could be down. The market chooses what it wants to see. Some people have pointed out the fact that pending home sales in the US were up 44%. So sort it of leads into what we've been seeing in this trend of better data, the Citigroup Economic Surprise Index in the US running at the highest level we've ever seen. The Dallas Fed president, uh, sorry, the Dallas manufacturing numbers running at negative 6.1. Good numbers there, certainly relative consensus. Boeing giving the green light to test their 737 MAX aircraft, and that put a few points into the Dow. And of course, we're coming into the quarter end, so there's a lot of crazy shenanigans playing through. It's S&P up 1.5%. Volumes were pretty low both through the cash and also through spoos as well. Uh, values actually work pretty well there, but you go into small caps, Russell's really had a solid day, you know, up 3.2% 3 or so. Dale Transports have had a really solid move as well. Um, but then you go across into, into FX markets, there's been very little move coming through in risk FX. Aussie dollar's really done nothing on the session and in terms of percentage change. You go into the bond market, we've got the front end of the curve actually finding good buyers. You know, you've got twos and fives down two and three basis points respectively. Inflation expectations have moved up, so you've seen real yields moving a little bit lower on there. You've actually seen high yield credit spreads widen a touch. If you look at the HYCDX index, it's up, what, nine basis points? A lot of focus on what the Fed are doing there, but you've seen investment grade really doing very little. Um, you know, and so if you go across the commodity space, nice gains in oil, yeah, lumber actually is down, copper's up about 70 odd basis points. So not a huge amount of uh, uh, moves that make a rhyming sense that we're seeing unadulterated risk taking on the session. I think a lot of work still needs to happen in the S&P for that to take place.